So I took a break from YouTube because I was searching for another job at the time, but then my contract ended up getting extended. So then, yeah, I just continued. And then I had to figure out an idea or a project to really do to show you guys. And I wanted it to be a bit more complicated than multi-post. Uh, our previous project that we did. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to introduce you guys to this project and kind of give you guys a high level overview of what I'm planning on doing and how I'm gonna do it. So we have to see how that's gonna work out. This is called Project Mix Split. Now, imagine that you're essentially listening to a mix on SoundCloud and you really enjoy this mix. So you wanna get all the individual songs with the timestamps because maybe you don't know some of the songs. So the way this new project will work is that the user will first sign into their SoundCloud. They will enter the SoundCloud link and then I will download the SoundCloud mix and use ACR Cloud to be able to recognize each song with the timestamp. In the end, the way it will look like is that we'll take these individual songs and put them all together into their into a playlist on SoundCloud and that way they have all the individual songs. I'm gonna say user on SoundCloud or or Spotify, uh, either or, we can enable that feature later on. But essentially, imagine this is a SoundCloud mix that's maybe 30 minutes long to an hour, let's say, and then it spews out the individual songs for that mix. And the tech stack that I plan on using is for backend, at least Java, it says post, Gris, SQL. So Postgres, SQL, uh, ACR Cloud for to recognize a song, and then Google Cloud to deploy. As for our front end, we're gonna be using Next.js, Shadzian, and Tailwind. I think we should first start off with tackling the biggest step, which is downloading a SoundCloud mix and using ACR Cloud to recognize each song. Um, do I know how to do this step? No, I do not. So we're gonna have to figure out how to do that. And let's go over the Spring Boot documentation and see what we can learn from it. Step number one, you may be asking, why do we have to convert this audio file into bytes, right? One of the reasons why is because audio files come in different format, right? They come in a MP3 format, come in a WAV format. How do we preserve that format, right? That's one of the questions. How do we preserve that format? We turn the audio file into bytes, okay? And I'll show you a second how that looks like. So this is how the bytes an example of a byte might look like, okay? This is, I believe, for a WAV file. I just pulled this off the internet. That's essentially how the byte would look like. Now, re another reason why is because ACR Cloud API requires bytes, okay? We need, it requires, requires the audio to be in bytes, okay? Now, I'm gonna give you a quick diagram, okay? This song is Ken Carson because it looks at the list of bytes, it looks into their database, and their database says, hey, these two match up. Bro, honestly, you know what? Before we get into our coding session, let's eat some of this. I'm not Kira. So How it looks like do I have to say it? I'll watch some Death Note. Hey, so it did work. It shows Ken Carson right here. And um, name a great chaos deluxe. And it gives us the title too. What oh, is Spotify album and it gives us the ID too. Nice. That's what we got. Pretty good. Also, I forgot to show you guys a new setup. So. As you guys can see, I no longer have the double monitor anymore. I simply have this one big Dell ultra wide curved monitor. And so far, so good. I'm hoping to get maybe one more monitor here, or maybe even on top, but then I have to shift everything over because I don't want it to hit this window ledge here. So uh, yeah, but that's a new monitor. So far, so good. Okay, I think that is it for today. We're able to get the single song and have ACR Cloud recognize it. I think next time we're gonna introduce a mix and see how it goes and edit our code. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.